this month's theme is about shining the light within, finding your inner light and shining your inner light, your light of well-being and overall health and recognizing the light in others, recognizing that, you know, the light in me recognizes the light in you. Namaste. So that's the that's this month. Uh, there's food around. So my lovely trusted dog Logan is uh, sniffing around, looking for crumbs in his very own Zen way. So while we're just waiting for us to come together. We'll listen to the lovely wind chime, accompanied by Logan, the howling beagle. Isn't it, Logan? The wonderful howling beagle. The stinky beagle. The stinky howling beagle. Poor Logan, he's getting old just like his master. And, uh, no, wait a minute, Logan is old just like his master. <laughs> so today we're going to do what... Um, we're going to start off lying down and we're going to find our breath. Maybe, sounds a bit daft when you say that, find your breath, but maybe for the first time this week, maybe for the first time this month, maybe the first time ever you've actually laid down <coughs> quietly and <laughs> listened to the sound of your breath. It's all gone, Logan, that's it. The dog will quiet down in a minute. All you lovely dog owners, dogs, phones, kids. It's all happening in, in, uh, the, in the Shala, which is actually uh, my flat. It's so... I'll do my usual weather check that I do every week, every time I do a class, which is actually, it's a lovely day. There's a lovely breeze, there's a beautiful blue sky. And there's some clouds there that this breeze is going to um, just blow gently over the day. And that's a bit like <coughs> maybe our metaphor for what's happening in our lives right now. Coming to the mat, <coughs> finding our breath and just letting that breath blow away any troublesome clouds that, <coughs> excuse me, are in the way of a beautiful blue sky. So, lying down, now that the, now that the food's gone, the, uh, my wonderful beagle, my young, wonderful trusted dog and companion will find his way wandering back outside to sit in the sun. <clears throat> There's so many lessons that you can learn from dogs and one of them is how to just be really chilled and how to really enjoy your day and lie out in the sun and just let things, just let the day roll. And that's what we're gonna do today. We're just gonna let the day roll out. So mats are down, you're lying down on the mat, back is flat on the floor. So flat on the floor that from the back of your head, you know, and often when we're lying on the floor, we'll find that our chin is kind of tipped up so just take your hands to the back of your head, take your head in and then place the back of your head flat on the mat. Move your arms away from your body enough so that the back, oh, I'm being joined by my lovely little yogi today. How wonderful. So that the back of your head is really flat and moving your arms away from your body enough so that the back of the shoulders are rested down and heavy. Just inhale now right up into the collarbones and exhale, release and let those arms rest, drop down. Inhaling and exhaling and with that exhale, just like the breeze outside, just blowing away any clouds, soft white clouds hopefully, just like outside and not big dark ones. And if there are big dark clouds, maybe you just want to exhale a little bit stronger. Shh. Inhale, right up to the collarbones, 
Let the shoulder blades at the back of the body rest down. Exhale, release. Let it all go. Taking your left hand onto your heart and your right hand onto your solar plexus, which is that area just above your abdomen, that nice soft spot where your ribs open. And there's a nice little soft squidgy bit in there. Just let your right hand rest there and your left hand on your heart. And with that, just turning the gaze inside. Good morning, Yogi. Lovely to see you today. Um, lying flat down on your mat with your left hand on your heart and your right hand on your solar plexus. So that's just above your navel or your belly button. And just closing down the eyes and closing down the face, let the forehead be rested and free, free from troubles. Inhaling deeply through the nose and as you exhale, blowing out and blowing away any clouds, blowing out any dust from the inside, any dust of negativity, blowing away those clouds, clearing up the day, ready for what, ready for what's next. Prep yoga today is, and for me, is really um, an exercise in letting go. Really let's, taking away the grip from all those things that we hang on to, you know, and they might seem like good things or bad things, but just really let, let it go. Let it go of any kind of, you know, really attachment to things that we feel that are have a massive significance to our well-being but just let that grip go of that let go of the idea that without these things we can't be happy and free inhale through the nose and exhale through the nose one of the limbs of yoga is about the sensory control to really let go of attachment and just tune in to your own universe and be really sensual to the energy that's around you. So as you lie there on your mat, let your back just spread out. Here he comes, my wonderful yogi. Little tail looking for food. <laughs> my dog has an attachment to food. Logan, you need to learn to let go. He's always doing yoga, so he's learning to let go. So inhaling and exhale, wonderful. Exhale. So letting your arms now come round by your sides, bring your knees into your chest and take those knees over to the left side, rolling up and onto your left hip as you take your gaze over to your right. So coming up, twisting over onto your left hip, Take your gaze onto your right, so your back, shoulders. Take your gaze over. Inhale now back to center and just let those legs just roll over to the other side as you take your gaze over to the, to the left hand. Inhale and exhale, let it go. Ah. Let's take a big inhale together and an exhale. Ah. Once more, inhale, exhale. Ah. Bring the knees back to the center. Extend those legs up to the ceiling. Soles of the feet facing the ceiling. Drop the left foot to the floor. Cross the right ankle over the top of the left thigh and bring that left knee towards you, taking the right hand, thread it through the, the at middle, clutching your left hand behind your left thigh, and use the elbow to just move the right knee away from you as you bring the left knee towards you. So the right knee is moving away, using that elbow to the inside of your right thigh, back is nice and flat to the floor all the way down to the tailbone and to intensify bring that knee towards your chest 
And to just let it go a little bit, let the knee move away. So to intensify, give yourself a little bit of a squeeze there at the end. Move the right knee away from you with that right elbow. Big inhale, exhale, release. Bring both feet up to the ceiling again and drop the right foot down to the mat. Take the left ankle and cross the left ankle over the top of the right thigh. Move the right knee in towards you. Thread the left hand through to catch hold of the right behind your left thigh and squeeze that knee towards you as you move the left knee away from you. Using this left elbow at the inside of your left thigh. Oh, oh, I nearly got my right and left mixed up. Inhale and exhale, squeeze that right knee towards you and move that left away from you. <sighs> Exhaling, release both legs up to the ceiling. Take hold of the back of your thighs with both hands and come to roll back and forward, up and down your spine. This is often called rock and rolling up and down your spine. And then come up to sit, pausing at the top. Straightening the legs into Navasana, boat pose. Good morning, Yogi. If you've just joined us, we've just been rocking and rolling up and down the spine. And come up to sit. So just take a moment to set yourself there. You just missed a nice little twist. Inhaling, and if you can, maybe you can straighten the legs, flex the feet. Maybe you can release the hands. If that's just too much for you at this point, that's okay. Take hold of the back of the knees where your thumbs are just a little, little outside of the thigh. Bend the knees and sit up nice and straight balancing on your sit bones. Now it's better to have bent legs and balance on your sit bones than to be doing this. This is what we don't want to do. So we want to get a nice straight back, open chest, looking at your big toes. So either bend the knees or if you're feeling super, super lively, flex the foot, straighten the legs. Yes. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, lower down to low boat. Inhale, rise. You definitely will want to bend your legs doing this. Exhale. Inhale. This is our yogi sit up. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower. Inhale, rise. Exhale, lower and hold. Inhale, rise. Cross the right uh, thigh the right calf in front of the left and come up to sitting. So your right um, your right <laughs> calf is in front and we're crossing at the shins. You know, this is easy pose, which is crossed at the ankles, but that's not what we're doing. We're crossing at the shins. We're sitting up straight, nice little boxy. Take your arms straight and either side of your knees and give your soles of the feet a nice little rub and a nice little massage and wake those toes up. Mm, that's nice. Right hand rises. Straighten the hand. So, sorry. Straighten the arm. Bring the bicep to your ear and then twist the body. Turn it over to face the left knee. Take your right arm, keeping it nice and straight outside of the left knee, your, your hand is cupping the left knee because it's going to help it to stop you falling over. Take the left hand up to your ear and intensifying that twist, twist a little bit further and then lift up with the left hand and over to the right, looking under your left armpit. Yippee! Inhale, exhale, reaching up and over, keeping this both arms actually straight. So it's using this, you're pushing, you're actively pushing your knee into your hand, and you're actively 
lifting up out of your left waist and creating a little twist there to get a little bit further over. Inhale, stretch over to the right side. Exhale, release. Come back to center. When you're at center, take your fingertips and walk forward, keeping your back nice and straight. Come forward, hinging at the hips. Come forward, taking your gaze to the horizon. Inhale into the back of your body. Exhale, releasing a little bit further. One more. Inhaling into the back. Exhale, come up to sitting. Inhale, exhale, crossing the right, sorry, the left uh, car, shin over the right. So your left is now in front. Take the left arm up to the left ear. I'm so happy my left and right. Lift up out of the right side, twist over to the in that blue bag in my room. Exhaling, take the left hand, cupping the right foot, oh, cupping the right knee in the left hand, twist your body a little bit further over to the right side, take the right arm up to the right ear, lift up and lean over to the left. So it's both arms straight, really working, push the knee into the, palm of the left arm and use that as you're almost like toppling over that's what's stopping you topple over that's what's helping you get this extra leverage up and over out of that left uh, right waistband it's like the back of the waist isn't it very exciting place inhale it's where all those sort of like podgy bits are inhale and exhale Inhale, release, come back to center, fingertips onto the floor and walk forward, hinging at the hips, walking forward. Perfect, amazing. Inhale, exhale, inhale into the back of the body and exhale, release. Walking back up to sitting, just taking a moment there before dropping the right ear down to the right shoulder, extending and releasing the left uh, neck and shoulder. Take the right hand, if you feel like taking this a little bit further, up and over to cut the left ear and just weigh that right ear further down onto the right side. Take it, you can even walk the left hand across the floor, walk the fingertips, fingertips across the floor to just take that stretch in that left shoulder a little bit further. Inhale, exhale, release. One more, at the end of the next exhale, release the arm on the ear, bring the head back to center. Pause for a moment before dropping the left ear to the left side. Left arm up and over to the right ear dropping the head a little bit further, maybe walking the right fingertips away from you. Inhale, exhale. Really extending into that right neck. Release the right ear, bring the head back up to center. Just pause there for a moment. Inhale, now tucking the chin under, drop the head forward. Take the fingers and clasp the fingers behind your head, helping the head come a little bit further forward. So chin's nice and tucked in, and getting a lovely release in the back of the neck and shoulders. Let the head become really heavy and loose. You know, I think sometimes we think we're gonna pull our head off or something like that, but of course we won't. It's really nice to just let that really go. Ooh. Release the hands. Roll the head gently up. Very good. Take a big inhale there. 
exhale, release. Inhale, now rolling up and over your knees, come to tabletop. When you're in tabletop, take the right foot back behind you, flexing the foot, take the foot off the mat, reach forward with the left hand. So stretching into the left fingertips and into the right heel, activating the left arm, activating the right leg. Inhale and exhale, bend the right leg, take the left arm round to catch the front of the right ankle and push the right foot into the left hand, looking forward, keeping your hips facing forward and your shoulders facing forward. Inhale, push and lift that knee a little bit higher. Exhale, release. Nice, left foot back, left foot flex. Take the left leg off, the, the left foot off the mat, reach forward with the right arm. Stretch into the left, right fingertips and the left heel. Fire up that energy. Inhale, exhale, bend that leg, reach round to catch the front of the left foot and push the foot into the hands as you face forward. Push, 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 lift the knee, stretch the front of the uh, left thigh. It's quite intense. Inhale, exhale, let go. Really good. Tuck the feet under now, bum to heel and slowly come up to downward facing dog. Maybe you might want to walk that dog back a little bit further, creating this lovely V-shape, tailbones in the air. Let's take an inhale through the nose and an exhale through the mouth. Right leg comes off. We're going to bring that right foot in between our hands. Step forward. Drop the back knee down, come up to this sort of boxy lunge, keeping your tailbone tucked under. Take the arms round and over, connect the fingertips above the head, bringing the hands down into Punjabi Mudra. Take the left elbow now, come, move, twist first. Then come forward with the left elbow so it's outside the right knee. The right knee continues to track the same line as the foot. Twisting again, that elbow and knee, these two pushing against each other to help lever you around in a nice deep twist. Want to take it a little bit further, take the back knee off the mat. Reset your twist. Shut that door down too. Coming slowly back through centre. Keep your balance straight in the front leg. Take your arms out to the side. Exhale down lower and hover the back knee off the mat. This time bring your arms up overhead. Straightening the front leg. And when you exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together behind your back as you bring your arms into a uh, cactus arms, hovering the left knee off the mat. Inhale, rising up, straighten both legs. Exhale, hover and squeeze the shoulder blades together. Inhale, rise, extend, straight legs, straight arms overhead. Exhale, squeeze the arm the shoulder blades together and bring your hands into cactus arms. Let's inhale once more, extend arms and legs straight. Exhale, bend one more time. Inhale, extend, exhale, bend, come all the way down. Hands each either side of your front foot, step back to downward facing dog. There we go, back in downward facing dog. And this time you're gonna take your left leg out behind you. Inhaling, exhale, step the left foot in between the hands and come up again. Just reset that, tucking the tailbone under just very, very slightly. It's not a massive movement, but it's just enough to help just reset and your spine be nice and straight so that you're not, um, my tendency, to puff out the front. 
We're keeping it, the, the ribs tucked nice and tidy in, the abs in, lifting up from the um, pelvic floor. Up through the front energetic lines. Bring the hands up overhead. Come through prayer to the heart center. Twisting first. Twisting, coming forward, knee, uh, elbow outside knee, and then using the elbow and the knee, pushing them together to help twist you through the middle twist round. Working the thumbs towards the sternum. So it looks like this from the side angle. Inhale, exhale, take that back knee off. Set your twist again. And then come back, find your balance there. Take your hands overhead, straighten your front leg, arms overhead, exhale, come into cactus arms, hover the back knee off, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhale, the shoulder blades rise up, move laterally, exhale, squeezing them together. Inhale, straight leg, straight arms. Exhale, hover, cactus arms, knee off the floor. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hover. Inhale, rise. Exhale, hover. Bring the knee down. Take the hands either side of your front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Inhale, now bring the right foot back behind you. Step it again in between the hands. Pivot round on that back foot and then come up to warrior two. I'm gonna move a little bit further back so that you can see me better on Facebook. There you go. I've still got my head cut off, sorry about that, or maybe that's a good thing. Inhale, power up the arms and take your drishti, your view, down that front um, fingers. So what people tend to do here is reach forward, don't. If it, you just need to be right there in the middle. <sighs> Inhaling straight in the front leg. Exhaling, pivot down to triangle. So um, bring your back of your hand to the inside of the right leg and use the back of the hand to help to keep you in one straight line as you come into triangle. <laughs> Inhale, exhale, back through warrior two. Take the forearm now to the front uh, thigh and take the left arm up and over straight arm up to the ear and reach through the left hand, looking under the left armpit again. Yeah, this is good. <laughs> Very good, yogis. Inhale, exhale, stretching, elongating, and then come back to warrior two. Just pivot round at the back leg again. Take the hand either side of the front foot. Step back to downward facing dog. Excellent, let's do that on the other side. Left leg rises, left leg steps through. So I'm gonna turn around, so you're pivoting on that back foot. Um, pivoting on that back foot, you're in warrior two. So again, that the, the outside edge of what is now your right foot, bring that flat to the floor and lift up the um, arch of the foot. This leg is really super, super powering. So it's nothing, there's nothing limp or anything about this pose. It's like, shh. So take the arms out, follow the front, uh, follow your left finger with your eyes. Your drishti's on your center finger on your left hand. Shh. Through. Inhale, exhale, straighten the front leg and come forward and just 
tip into triangle. Yay! So the back of the left hand to the inside of the left thigh, reaching up, lovely straight arms, both arms are nice and straight, even though my um, right arm's cut off on Facebook, uh, stretch into that hand. Inhale, keeping yourself in one straight line, inhaling back through warrior two, take the left forearm to the right thigh, and take the right hand up to the right ear, stretching over to the left and looking under the right armpit. Lovely. Really reaching, stretching, powering up. Inhaling back to warrior two, rotating round to the front, taking your hands either side of the left foot Step back to downward facing dog and from down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, come forward. Just flow forward to plank. Exhale, bring the knees and the front of the feet down to the mat. And then bring the thighs down, keeping the elbows close to the body. The hips down. You're just easing yourself down into a lovely cobra. Look at that. Inhale, puff and pull the chest through the, through the arms, through the hands, keeping those elbows tucked nice and nice and tidy. One more big inhale and extension and exhale, release, bring the face down to the mat and just take a moment to rest there. So just let one cheek come to the side of the mat. Take a moment to rest before I torture, before I before we do some lovely, lovely back bends, I won't say before I, uh, okay, so from there, bring your face back to center, take, walk your hands mat distance apart and a little bit further in your head, bringing the elbows in as you rise up to seal. Let the bum, be, release the bum, so try not to clench your bum, you know, your butt, so, so you're not doing this kind of movement. Let the uh, bum relax and then come forward with the chest, taking the gaze just ahead of the horizon. Inhale, exhale, release. And before you let that go, take your arms round and catch the front, bend your knees tight, catch the front of your feet, the front of your ankles. Bring the knees a little bit closer together than you think because what the tendency is to bring the knee, that the knees just go wide, forehead to center, lift the knees off, push the feet into the hands and lift the front of the body off. Inhale and often we say rock back and forth here, but I don't really think that's necessary to really think about that. Take a big inhale, exhale, release down. Take a moment with your face, one side of the mat, then release it down, bring your hands either side of your shoulders and push back to child's pose. Lovely, so rest back in child's pose. And bring your breath into the back of the body. Bring expansion as you inhale, expand your ribs, expand your shoulder blades, and as you exhale, release and let those shoulder blades slide down the back. Inhale, find expansion. Exhale, release. Let the shoulder blades slide down. Once more, inhale, find expansion. Exhale, let it slide down. Lovely. It's such a wonderful pose, child's pose. And if you ever um, feel really anxious or stressed about something, child's pose is really the best place to go. That's your go-to. So from child's pose now, let's roll gently up to come to sitting back on your heels. And it's came to my attention that many people can't sit back on their heels. They find that quite difficult. So if you're practicing to sit back on your heels, get a nice big pillow or cushion like this gorgeous one. And you can either put it here, yeah, which is on top of the um, back of the ankles and shins, and sit back. But when you go to sit back on your heels, always take your bum back first, 
Yeah, so aim the bum at the heels and then bring the body up to centre. Being mindful that you want to go from here, which is where many other people might be, to work, to come back, to bring your weight back. Yeah? Um, and if this isn't comfortable, if you find this difficult, the alternative is to put that between your legs and to sit like this. This is also, or use blocks. If you have a little yogi block, you could sit this, that little yogi block here. I don't have mine with me at the moment, and sit like this. Okay? Um, so learn to sit back your heel. This is a great uh, position, and it does take practice to be able to sit like this. And when you're sitting like this, look back at your feet and just be sure that your feet and your legs are in one straight line and that your feet aren't splaying out like the sort of duck feet or something, or penguin feet. Yeah? So look back, see that you're, um, you're going, your uh, calf and your foot are in one straight line. Sitting back there. Stretching the front of your thighs, it's great for stretching the front of your thighs and it's very, very good way to sit, to really find that staff, that sitting up straight from the tailbone up to the top of the head. So let's just take a moment there. And let's just close down the eyes and just take a moment to just, to, or for reflection, a moment to reflect and to find that inner light right here. Take our right hand onto our heart and our left hand, sorry, left hand onto the heart, right hand onto the solar plexus, which is this space just where your ribs open and just above the belly button. Take your right hand there, your right palm there, and your left palm onto your, uh, your heart. Close down the eyes, sitting up nice and straight. Tapping into our own universe, feeling that light shining at the top of our head. Release the hands now and come up to sit on your toes. So tucking the toes under, sitting back on the heels and spreading your toes. Let's find some space in between your toes in this wonderful toe squat. I do this all the time in my classes because I think it's just such a great pose and it takes practice. It's a great sort of like for firing up the feet um, and really activating the feet, bringing a new sense of activity and motion. You know, we want to stay mobile. Bring your arms out to the side, straighten your arms, let the shoulder blades, so you're not doing this, you're doing this. Shoulder blades sliding down the back and once again, just like in Warrior 2, the arms are powered up. Turn the arms now, turn the whole arm so that the palms are facing the ceiling and extend through the fingers. Inhale and exhale, cross the right elbow on top of the left elbow and bring your palm, your forearms together and then your palms together. If you find that this is really difficult, and many people do, then cross your elbows Together and take your arm hands round to catch your um, shoulder blades there. There they go, there they are. And just squeeze, so catch that little bit there, you know? Feel it? Catch that, your shoulder blades. For the others, we're doing eagle arms. Lift the elbows up to, to your eye level. And slide the shoulders back down. Inhale, find expansion in the front. Exhale, let the shoulders slide back down your back. Release the arms, bring them back out to the side. Powering through the fingers, turn the whole arm as so your palms are facing the ceiling. Cross the left elbow over the right. Same thing, forearms together, palms together. Or crossing the arms and finding your shoulder blades and doing that wonderful teenage thing where you think that it's about kissing someone. Lifting the elbows up, 
sitting back on your heels. If your feet are getting a little bit tense, just come off them for a moment and come back down and try and go with it. It's great practice. Even though you might be thinking it might be great practice, but it's absolutely agony, Mickey. Well, just go with it. Inhaling, lift the elbows up. Exhale, release. Come forward onto your palms. Let go of the feet and let's be back in tabletop. Let the feet rest. And now that we're in tabletop, we're going to walk forward with the hands, keeping the little tail in the air and bring the chest down towards the mat, forehead to mat, opening up the heart center, the armpits, And just stick with that for a moment. Breathing there. It's quite intense on the shoulders. Opening up this lovely heart area. And as our theme is to open and shine our inner light, this is the perfect place to open up. One big more inhale, exhale. Bring the hands in either side of your head and then push gently up to tabletop again. Come back on your heels and roll over on one side, bring your feet out in front of you. Flex the feet, bring the toes towards you. And you know, you're flexing your feet, switching on these thighs. Take the hands by your side, fingertips. Exhale, release. Bring the right knee in towards you and step the right foot over the left leg. Wee! I'm going to go around this way, surely. Left leg, reach forward with the left arm. Cup the left elbow around the front of the right knee and then move, twist through towards the right. Bring the right hand behind you on fingertips. And again, using that elbow and knee together to twist through the middle, through the waistline, through the midline and squeeze out all those toxins. <laughs> I always use that analogy of the dirty dishcloth. <laughs> oh, I love that one so much. Inhale, exhale, squeeze, there you go. Inhale, find expansion, exhale, twist. Let's do that again. Inhale through the nose, exhale, twist through the mouth. Let's just do that one more time. Inhale through the nose, Exhale through the mouth, squeezing. And then exhaling, come back through the center, just gently rotating over to the left side before coming back through to the center. Step that right leg back over to the inside of the left thigh and drop the right knee down towards the floor. There's my lovely yogi helper again, my inspo. Right hand lift. Inhale, reach with the right hand. Exhale, bring that right hand forward to the outside of the left thigh or catching the outside of the left foot. And twisting, again, using now the foot to twist through, take your left hand and bring that round the waist to catch hold of the top of the right thigh. So there's my hand there looking over to the left side. So it's a forward fold with a twist. Nice, very good. Inhale, exhale, let's inhale, twist a little bit further. Exhale, release, come back up. Take the right leg straight out in front of you and just pause for a moment there, sitting up nice and straight, sitting right on the um, sit bones. Bring the left foot in. Step the left over the right, reach forward with the right arm, cup the left knee in the right elbow and move, twist your whole body from the waist so your belly button's moving round to the left side. Take the left hand behind you to just hold you up. So again, squeezing, it's this action of squeezing the knee and the elbow together that helps really twist you around. So you're really shh, 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 shh. very good yogis. 
Excellent. Inhale, squeeze. Inhale again, rise. Keeping a nice straight spine. Exhale, squeeze, twist. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist. Once more. Inhale, rise. Exhale, twist. Inhale, at the end of the next exhale, let's come back through the center. Gently over to the right side. Ooh. Come back to center. Step the left leg back to the left side and the left sole of the foot against the right inside seam. Drop the left knee down. Lift up with the left arm. Bicep to your twist. Bringing the body over to face that right leg. Come forward. Fold forward over the right thigh as you grab hold of the outside of the calf, the right side calf, or the outside of the right foot. And twisting down and folding over. Let right arm comes round the back towards the front, towards the left thigh. <sighs> Inhaling, extend. Looking at the toes. So don't drop the head down. We're not going like this arching the back, we're looking forward at the big toes of the foot, extending up the back of the straight leg, twisting the body a little, get a nice little twist, inhale, rise, exhale, bring the right uh, left foot out, out in front of you, take the soles of the feet to the floor, arms out front, knees high, roll down to the mat. Very good, walk those feet in so that the fingertips are just touching the back of your um, heels. Tuck the tailbone under and roll up off the mat. Knees come forward, feet pushing into the mat to help your tailbone rise up, you're right up on your shoulders. Take a big inhale there, exhale, let it go. Big inhale up to the top of the shoulders and exhale, roll down the spine. Being careful not to let the knees roll out. Don't lose control of the knees. Exhale, roll down. Spine's flat on the floor. Once again, check those feet, walk those feet in, reset. Knees and hips and feet are all tracking in one straight line. Shh, shh. Inhaling, tuck the tailbone under, knees are going forward, back is rolling up and off the mat. So you're right up on your shoulder blades, palms facing the ceiling. Inhale at the top, really push your feet into the mat to create that big back. Inhale, exhale, lower down. Really lovely, great. Take a moment there to set. And just window wipe your knees over left and right. Just release that lower back. Oops, I'm being choked by my auntie. Bring the knees into your chest wide. Um, as if they're moving towards your armpits. Take the soles of the feet to the ceiling. And yay, you guessed it, it's happy baby time. So either take hold of the outside of your feet and bring the knees towards the armpit or the outside of your calves and just lovely just do that lovely kind of massage -y thing back and forward on your back nice keeping those feet really super flexed oh, very good come to still just rest there for releasing the feet and the up to the ceiling. Legs are straight, back is completely flat on the floor, all the way down to your tailbone. We're not so much pushing through the heels, we're just gently flexed. With that tailbone nice and flat, probably most people need to move those legs slightly further away from the, you than you think. Because it's just, because it's easier to do this, we just have a tendency to go for the default into the easy thing. So just move your feet gently, slightly away from you. So much so that you can start to feel your thighs starting to quiver. If that's happening, you're doing this right. Keep 
keeping that back, that space, just at the back of your waist, down flat on the floor. Closing down the eyes, let the face just rest. the right over the left, maybe bringing it all the way around to eagle legs, or just if the knees have just crossed, bring those knees closer towards your chest, and then roll over onto your left side, right up onto your left hip, so that your knees are on the floor. Take your right hand up and over to the right side. Maybe it's easier sometimes to just bring that left hand to the top of your thighs to just help ease them down and take the head over to the right so you're getting a lovely twist I'm joining you in this because it feels so nice inhale exhale uh, maybe even extend through that right those right fingertips get a little bit more action in this twist with the knees high like this you can really feel again you get that lovely twist through that lip body Ooh, that nice tummy getting a nice little workout there release the legs unroll the uncross the legs first then bring them back to center extend the feet back up to the to straight legs again for a moment just reset your back then left over right maybe you want to bring it all the way around to eagle legs bring that knee in towards your chest as you roll over to the right side left take your right hand maybe on top of those sides and your gaze going over to your left hand and just relax into it you know you're right up on the edge of that uh, right hip so really right over and then come back with the top of your, with your shoulders and your head. Inhale, exhale, go out, go. Take a big inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. your legs, bring your knees back to center and just <sighs> doing final relaxation yogis, well done. When you come to this Shavasana, just really um, completely let go. You've done so well to get to this place. <laughs> You've twisted, you've turned, you've thinned your out. So now it's time to let that. And it's nice to, you know, at the beginning of the practice, this is where we, so we've done this full 360. We're back to where we started, back to turning the gaze inside. There's no need to think about following the sequence anymore because you're just following your breath. Inhaling through the nose and exhaling, just letting go. Let the forehead and face just really relax down. All those hundreds, thousands of thoughts are going through our, our, through our mind at every minute of the day. Just let it all go. Just let it flow. You're on your little magic mat now. Just let that <laughs> Just let the magic happen. This is where the magic happens. So just following your own breath, I'm just going to leave you and stop talking, even though it's very hard for me to stop talking, for the next two minutes. See if I can do that. That's my exercise, is to sit still and talk, stop talking for two minutes.
going to finish with me. Then just bring your inhaling, take your arms overhead so back of the palms come to the floor behind you and stretch through the fingertips all the way down to the toes. So stretching, making yourself as long as you can. Inhaling and exhale, really stretch through and then release. Bring the knees into your chest and roll over onto one side and come up to sitting, keeping your gaze low. Just going to close our energy aura. It's important to close your um, close your field after yoga so that you don't feel like and you don't give away or disperse all that energy that you all that energy that you've worked and locked inside. So let's lock that in. Coming to sit up nice and straight, your palms are, arms are outstretched and palms are facing the ceiling. Inhale, bring those palms up to connect your fingers overhead. Inhale and exhale, release, come palms down towards the floor, all the way down to your abdomen. Turn the palms once again and inhale. Bring the fingertips to touch overhead. Exhale once again, palms down to your abdomen. Once more, inhaling, drawing that circle, closing your energy ball. Connect the palms together now into, into prayer mudra and jali mudra. Inhale and exhale, pausing at the third eye, the forehead for right thoughts. Inhale there and exhale, pausing at the lips for right words. Inhale and exhale, pausing at your heart center for right actions. Pushing back on your sternum with your thumbs. Inhale once again. Exhale, release your palms over your heart. And as you inhale, feel your heart rise up into your palms. Just take a moment to just shine your inner light, your own light, into the palm of your hands. Energizing your palms. Inhale there and exhale, release and shine your palms outwards, shining your light towards your friends and your family, the people who live on your street, in your city, around you, in your country, to everyone in the whole world. May all beings find peace. Well done, yogis. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for joining me on YouTube. And have a wonderful, wonderful day. It's Thursday today. You might watch this at any given time again. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And that you have found some sense of release. And I have practicing with you. Thank you so much. I'll see you either on Instagram Live on Monday, on YouTube on Record, or um, same time next week on Facebook and please come to my website if you would like to book a class with me and take your practice a little bit further or come to one of my workshops or even I've got two places left on my retreat so come and email me ask a question about any of those things I'm always happy to answer them and to encourage everyone to 